been said that there are a lot of times that bones have been taken out in the past and up to a point there have been bones taken up here. And the thing is that we have watched it and at this time we can no longer stand it. As Hawaiians, we feel that our bones cannot be taken out anymore and we are not going to allow this to happen anymore. And it took this case, it took the finding of this many bones here, the, the, the disinterment of 870 bones, for us to come to that realization that we have to take a stand and stop this from happening here on Maui, on Hawaii, on Oahu, on Kauai, wherever it happens, we have to stop the state from giving permits to developers to take our bones out. We have to stop the State Historic Preservation Office allowing it. We have to stop the issuing of permits that allow the desecration of ourselves as Native Hawaiians. And that's why we're here to, to stop it. We're taking a stand here at Honokahua, and we'll be taking a stand at every island where the bones are going to be taken out. We don't want them out, and we want these bones here returned. And this cannot happen. This cannot keep going. I cannot see the children being dug up like this. I cannot see our people, our ancestors being dug up like this. Pow! You can Can you see your grandparents and your families being dug up? We don't go to your grave sites and dig up your families and take your jewelry and take all your possessions, all your private possessions out and put them in your museums to show the tourists. You don't even give our chance for our bones to disintegrate back to the earth. We speak for thousands of years of Hawaiians before and thousands to come. Regardless of what the other nationalities may, may think, we as Hawaiians think this is sacrilegious. It's against our traditional beliefs. It has to stop. Well, Honokahua was uh, brought aware to us that when we were on Kaholawe uh, that this whole project was going on here at Kapalua. So we came and uh, contest that project, and it's a really a grassroots calling and everybody coming together at Honokahua to stop this uh, burials. Uh, there were up to a thousand or more, 1,200 bodies already. And um, that was the reason for us getting together to stop this desecration. It was, how could you do that, you know? And here it was in the 80s. At Honokahua, during the whole protest and stopping of the diggings, there were uh, recorded more women and children in the thousands that were there. Not really warriors. Uh, they weren't on that side of the island. Uh, that was more women and children. So, in fact, more children uh, in the diggings that were recorded. So it wasn't a place, uh, you would say, of battle, but more a place of rest and aloha and love, man, with the women and children being buried there. And the government's participation was everybody signed off, from the Office of Hawaiian Affairs signing and uh, trustees I never thought would sign, signed, and Shipty signed off, the county of Maui signed off, uh, all the way up to the governor that gave approval of these, uh, of the diggings. So we had no alternative. There was no avenue to litigate, to step in, to stop anything. It was all green light. They did, they did everything they could and was approved all the way through the end. So all we had left was to stand up. And now in 2000, they're still doing it. And they're doing it on the same island of Honokohua was supposed to be focused and understood like the first lead for everybody how to react throughout the islands. But we're back at day one, you know. So it's a, it's a reminder that we're still being abused. We're still being dug up. And there's really no laws being strong enough to protect us. And I think we got to make some difference. And uh, this conference we had was great, bringing interested Hawaiians to look at this and focus on making it better or correcting it. Uh, all the state agencies throughout the state, they're not supportive. We got to do this again as grassroots. We got to do this whole issue and take it to these levels that, uh, that makes decisions. So yes, uh, we got we to gotta do a lot of work and, and every Hawaiian is a descendant from this. Uh, there's no uh, idea that just uh, genealogy separates us because of name and words, but it's just, uh, we're just Hawaiians, no matter what. And we should be interested in protecting ourselves and the state to protect it on every island. So the state has to get together and make stronger laws and let us write the laws and direct the direction of our future 
in the protection of our EV. So we got to do something. And I don't think that people, or maybe people think it's all okay. It's not okay. And it's never got fixed. So for those who say it's fixed, it's not. And I'm here to tell you that. And the development on this island especially is going rapid and digging up all the EVs as much as possible. So I would say that the thousands that was at Onakawa, we got thousands now. And it's 200 here, 300 there, 200 here. And it all comes up way past thousands. So numbers is not the point. It's just stop digging and respect the, our two tools that uh, were there. I mean, the desecration and what they do, they're doing that to us. I mean, I know they passed, but we should be the ones that are alive to make sure that that kind of thinking and consciousness is not what we have to live with. You got to tell the world that uh, you come to Hawaii, we Hawaiians care about our history our tutus, our past, and our EV especially.